What is going on guys? It is Super here and I'll bring you guys another Injustice 2 video and today we actually got some new Injustice 2 gameplay. We actually got a bunch of information so I'm here to do a small little breakdown video. Let's get to it. Number one thing that I notice and everyone that watch this gameplay notice is that the characters that were in Injustice 1 coming back to Injustice 2 have pretty much the same moveset which is you know kind of surprising I know a lot of things carry over with the same characters you know you want moves and combos and stuff that people are familiar with that they love but I definitely noticed that you know Aquaman did a very very similar combo to what I've seen many people do in Injustice 1. Batman had his 1-2-3 uh, string, Superman had his 1-1-2 one, one, string there at the end. The Superman Super looked identically the same you know really really quick startup looks like it's gonna be again another five frame super that's gonna be able to punish everything and you know there were a lot of things from those characters that were similar to their injustice one version which is not necessarily a bad thing in my opinion like i mentioned whenever uh you know a fighting game carries over the same characters from the previous roster they have a lot of the same moves you know so it's not too much of a difference is not a big deal to me let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section but moving on or i guess staying with the same theme uh there's a couple more things that i noticed in the trailer coming back from Injustice 1 so the number one thing is the clash system is coming back to Injustice 2 and if you guys remember in Injustice 1 you had one clash per match and what that did is you know you had four bars of meter and at any point during the game if you want to break a combo you do a clash and you bet on you know you and your opponent both decide how much meter you want to spend and depending on who wins the clash and who loses the clash you might get life back you might get life taken away from you or it might be a, a standstill and no one loses life no one gains life so that's definitely coming back into injustice 2. I kind of prefer the breaker system from Mortal Kombat, but I do understand that this is a whole different game, you know, they get to play around with a, a bunch more things, so they want things returning from Injustice, you know, they want the players to be familiar with the game, so uh, another thing is the back three and forward three are returning to Injustice, and what that is, is pretty much like the, the really slow overhead and the wall bouncing move. Uh, so there's a lot of combos where you would do a meter burn back three that launches your opponent it bounces up bounces him up up against the wall and then you're able to continue your combo same thing with the overhead and it looks like that's returning so you know combos are probably going to look identical to injustice one as well so moving on here to some supergirl i noticed a couple of things about supergirl she obviously has the eye beam but there's a scene in here um i don't remember which one it was but there's a scene in here where she shoots her eye beam and then she's almost instantly able to grab gorilla grod into a uh, a throw which is crazy right like i don't i don't i really hope that they don't make the eye beam recover that fast that would be insane it looks like it recovers really really fast maybe this is just a pre i know this is just like a pre pre alpha and stuff and i, I just hope that it gets toned down for the game uh so she has a tornado like move where she summons a tornado so sort of like uh, katana in royal storm she like could throw a tornado she meter burns it and it goes full screen captures your opponent and she does an air grab afterwards she also looks like she has a command grab and interestingly enough it looks like she has a roll like some sort of meter burn roll that allows you to go through your opponent come out on the other side and if you guys know injustice does not have a block button so there are like ambiguous cross-up setups in injustice which means you don't know whether the opponent is going to stay in front of you or behind you and with with her roll it looks like it's pretty fast it might be integrated into a combo you know you you're blocking something and then she does a roll you have to block the opposite direction you know so that could be really really tricky supergirl looks like she's going to be a force to be reckoned with in this game so last thing that i want to talk about here is a strange mechanic that i noticed so there's multiple times in this gameplay reveal where a character is doing a combo on another character and the character that's getting comboed actually does some sort of rollout like he's getting hit and then something sparks like sparks fly off him like if he's doing some sort of meter burn move and then he rolls out of the combo which is really weird it might be something like a breaker system 
in Injustice to, you know, maybe save your ass if you already use your Clash. Maybe it'll take up two bars of meter. I don't know. I really want to know more information about this because if you have something like this where if you're getting comboed and you don't have a Clash anymore and let's just say you spend two bars of meter to roll out of the combo, that'll be very, very interesting to see how that works into the game. So that's going to be it for my breakdown video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time.